Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. Yes, hola, hola. All right, you all. This video shout out goes to someone that goes by Butterfly. Thank you for your continued support. That's beautiful. Yes, butterflies are beautiful. They're God's creation. That's right. And a lot of us, oh yes, a lot of us have seen the um, analogy or the meme where it talks about how how we are in a cocoon. You know, it's like when we were in the narcissistic matrix, you know, we were in that bubble. We're kind of like in a cocoon, right? And so God awakens us. Oh, yeah, God awakens us to and from the abuse. And so we start to make those changes, right? We get reborn again in, in Christ, raised that spiritual body. And so we start to bloom. You know, we start to, we, we start to come out of that cocoon and step into our purpose. Step into who God created us to be. Okay? Alright, we're going to dive into how to practice turning off that mental empathy switch. I'm going to bring this real quick. Okay? Reminder. Or we're going to try to make it real quick. How's that? <laughs> when the Holy Spirit gets going, the Holy Spirit gets going. <laughs> Alright? So, um, you know, I just want to thank everybody. Alright? As always, for your continued support. Um, you know, so before you get lost in a message and or tackling another task while listening... Uh, let's make sure we give these videos a thumbs up so that other fellow chosen survivors can get the message as well. Because it's going to help everybody all right, who is learning how to do this. Okay, because it's all part of getting that, getting emotionally regulated. Okay, yes, it's all part of that. And it's all part of being able to maintain self-regulation. So this is something that I learned. Okay, y'all, it's not just from God and God's word that I learned it, but coupled with the trauma training that I take every year, all right, you all, and, and we stay with that. Listen, it's all because I got, you know, I, okay, listen, when you master the art of being able to remain calm and regulated, no matter what the circumstances are, that's that huge indicator you are fully healed. Because contrary to um, the beliefs in, in some areas of, of, of all of this out there, contrary to their uh, assumptions or beliefs that uh, everybody will always be triggered, myself and many others out here can attest to the fact that that's not true. We do get to a point where nothing gets under our skin. Why? Ecclesiastes 1.9 as a reminder. All right, Ecclesiastes 1.9. Because that's where God tells us nothing new under the sun. All of those negative fiery darts, they're all the same. Over time, y'all got to give yourself that patient time and space, okay? And, and patience with God as well. But over time, you'll start to see the pattern, okay? You'll start to see because you'll know whenever um, the enemy has, whoever the enemy has access to, and tried to dish out one of those fiery darts, the abuse, you can you spot it. And so it's like, oh, it, you, you know instinctively what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you to step out of character. They're trying to get you dysregulated again. And it won't work. Why? Because you got the armor of God on. All right? Yep, make sure you put the armor of God. You got the armor of God. Okay? There you go. That's why. And, and nothing new under the sun. All right? So but practice to... And part of that is turning off that mental empathy switch as necessary. And then you get to a point where you, you know you can ha you learn how to manage it to where the, the switch will be kind of in the middle. Okay? Mm-hmm. So where you'll know it's, um, it's, it's spiritual and mental at the same time. After all, everything spiritual is in the kingdom of God. Okay? So you'll learn how to do this. Okay? Over time. We you get to a point, again, for those who have not heard this part, like where I'm at right now, right, there's some trucks and some people over there, all right, and, and, and then, of course, cars going by, and we know how the spiritual energy transfer works, so the empathy switch is off for the outside world, all right, <laughs> there we go, it's off for the outside world, but it's on for you all, okay, that's how it, it's in the middle here. Okay, that's how that's how it, it works. So you're going to get there. And nothing from the outside external world. Oh, the enemy will try, you all. Okay, that, that's why that's why we want to get you. We want to help God get you where he needs you to be. Okay, with being able to do this. 
because the enemy will still throw a little test out there to see once we have verbally announced that, okay, guess what? Nothing's going to get under your skin. You're, you're going to have thick enough skin to wear. That's not going to get you all, you know, riled up or out of character or anything like that. All right, you will. All right, you'll get there. But practicing it, okay? Number one, all right, you all, if you sense anything negative, you will instinctively learn how to say, okay. Because it's like your body will know. Your body will, will, will sense it. And for many of us, you know, we know what it's like walk, walking into an environment. And, it's, and if it's, um, you, you can just, you can, you can feel the toxicity. Okay, you can sense it. Okay, that's what we mean by feeling it. Okay, well, you can sense it. You know, it's like, okay. And it's, it's not coming from within you. All right, once you get to that point, you're realizing that the God spirit in you, the God head in you, it's not coming from that. You know, once you, you once that sinks in, oh, man, boom. It's like smooth after that, okay? It <laughs> gets a lot easier after that once you realize that it's not coming from within you. That helps you to maintain that self-regulation, okay? Because you, cause you know you, all right? You alert. And for those who are still learning, hang tight. You'll get there. Knowing who you are in Christ, okay, keeps that. Regulated. Keep keeps your emotion regulated and imbalanced. Okay, so that you can spot this stuff. And so, if you spot, if you walk in somewhere and you you can sense toxicity or um, a, a kind of like a stagnation or the, it's a negative energy. It's just it, it it's gonna clash with your positive energy, right? It's gonna clash, obviously. With all things holy that God got in you, that joy, that peace, the positivity, okay, yes, the happiness, all of that that's within you from the Godhead, and the excitement that, of what God's doing and what God's gonna do, all right. Once you once you really meditate, you know, get that in, get that in there, all right. And it's renewal, uh, renewing of the mind, okay, to really let that sink in, you know, can write it down. However, it is that you can retain that. Right, to know that it's not coming from within you. Then, you can sense it, and you're like, oh, okay, and you don't allow it, okay, you don't allow it to affect you negatively. You see it, and you sense it for what it is, and you go, okay, and that's when you just, you tell yourself, okay, that's how you practice it. You tell yourself, empathy switch off, empathy switch off. And over time, okay, how, however it is you got to tell yourself, whether you speak it out loud, well, I don't, if you're in front of narcissistic abusers, I don't recommend that, you know, between you and God, okay, to yourself. Don't speak it verbally, you, know, you and God, okay, in the kingdom of God, just say, empathy switch off, you know, okay, tell yourself that. If you happen to be alone and you sense it, okay, and, 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 and you sense it coming from somewhere out there to, to help you practice to where you can get that neutral, where it just switches in the middle, all right? So you, you, you can do it that way. You can verbally speak it, say empathy switch off, you know, to kind of get that in there. Repetition, okay, repetition. Anytime you sense that that's off and you just tell the mental empathy switch to go off because what, what happened before we were aware of this transfer is that we started in? We started to think that all of that was coming from us, and that's the trick of the enemy. And it's not okay. Once we realize that it's not coming from within us, it's external. Anything, remember, anything negative is external. All right. So just remember that. All right. So there, there, there's, there's that one. Okay. And then number two. All right. Anything that's off doesn't necessarily have to be negative, but anything that just feels off. Period. Okay. Same thing. You tell yourself mental empathy switch off. You take a step back, okay? You go, okay, you know, ask for God's help, okay? Always. That's really first and foremost. Ask God for help, all right? And then he'll give you the words to speak, you know, to yourself and him. And you go, okay. You want, you want to learn how to turn that empathy switch off. And you just got to practice that. And eventually, you'll get to that point where it'll become automatic, Okay, it's like you won't even have to tell your body to do that. Okay, you really won't. 
because this is just one of those things. Even though our body is uh, wonderfully made by God, and we don't have to tell it to do a lot of things, that's one thing we do when, when it comes to the spiritual energy, okay? That emotion, e energy and motion, emotions, okay? When it comes to that, we do have to tell our brain, okay, let's turn that off, because it is mental, okay? And we turn it off, and we go, okay, because it's all part of knowing who can have access to your empathy and who cannot all right the narc abuser that's why okay they want access to our empathy okay mm-hmm because they want to try they, they want to try to steal kill and destroy it okay they don't want it for themselves they don't they, they want to try to steal kill and destroy it so that's why we got to be mindful and then that's how the enemy you know if we're a conduit for that spiritual energy to get in there that's how the enemy can trick a person into thinking that they are experiencing those negative thing through the narcissistic abuser's projection through that negative uh, the low vibration and do we learn to cut it off okay and so the second tip I have you gotta have the you gotta have the first one down pat okay by learning to tell yourself that because the second tip I have is going to be extremely intentional I know all right, and it's gonna take it's gonna take knowing and, and telling yourself. There's just really two ways that I can think of to help y'all practice turning that thing off, is to deliberately and intentionally go to a place that you. I'm not talking about the house, whatever, but let's say a, let's say you sensed it um, at a particular store or a particular. Now, some of y'all might be able to do this quicker than others because you might still be in a toxic environment. Who, you know what I'm saying? You might be. So if you are, then this is just, a, that, that's actually your advantage, believe it or not. Because it's going to help you, help God hasten the, on his time, okay? It's going to help him hasten you with this. All right? It's intentionally and purposely go to that, go to that spot or go to that place, okay? And leave it on. So you could, so you, and then sense it and then tell, tell yourself to turn it off again. It's that repetition, okay? So it's like one and two kind of go hand in hand, all right? But to get better at it, all right? You, I know, I know, you're going to probably be like, Michelle, are you serious? Why would I want to do that? Because I'm here to tell y'all that that is how it gets stronger and quicker, all right? That is how. And so let me give y'all an example to help put it in perspective. How did we do it? Let's say this exact same way, all right, is that we... We told ourselves, as soon as I learned learn how the dude was, was mirroring my empathy through the eyes, automatically, I said, off. It was like God stepped in and was, it was off. And once I, once I knew what it felt like, I said, okay, that's how I do it. Because everything just phew, quieted down, calm, peace. Uh-huh. It was in that toxic workplace. But then after that, I took the I took the opportunity while still being there to strengthen that. Okay, there you go. I, I took that I took that as an opportunity. And so there were moments where I would deliberately and intentionally, you know, it, it well, I would say maybe it was not really deliberate <laughs> because I'm one of those who everybody gets one chance. Okay, you all. But you know, until I knew that who it was I was interacting with, okay, in, in, in various areas and things like that, I would I would leave it on and then turn it back off. Leave it on and then turn it back off. Because that's how you strengthen it, okay? Mm-hmm. And so there, there, that just happened to be an advantage that I had because I was still in a toxic workplace, and then I was able to start doing it at the uh, another environment, okay, where... You know, we're, hey, God, God's going to do what God's going to do on his time, right? There you go. So, now I was able to do it there. And I know for a lot of y'all, it, it never dawned on you that you would have to do that, perhaps in your own home. Well, the reality is, we do. If we Once we spot that we're dealing with sleepers, okay, we realize that we have to. And I would share with y'all this. Oh, yeah, they'll try to get, try to get in your personal faith. So you can tell that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get an emotional read on you. All right? Remember, they read emotion. Okay? Not people. 
They're trying to get an emotional read. So with that switch off, they can't get one. They cannot get one. So you'll see them searching your face, trying to figure out where you're at emotionally. Oh, yeah, you will. You'll notice it. If you haven't already, you will. All right, you start turning that off. They can sense when you turn it off. All right, that's right. And so it's an unfortunate thing, but we have to do that. And that's part of protecting our peace, and that's part of uh, getting better at it. So that anytime we strength, uh, anytime we strength, <laughs> anytime we walk into a place and we sense that stuff, we'll instinctively know and shut that off. And then for many of us, we know we're going to a big store that's got a lot of people and, you know, stuff like that. We practice turning it off, you know, on the way or before we leave and get there and we keep it off. All right. And then we know once you get that point where you can, you can uh, manage it. And let's say you run into someone you've identified as is another chosen one. Like there's a, a worker at one of the places I go to who I know is another one. So I can have it in that neutral position so I can with her. Okay. But for every everybody else, it's off. Okay. There you go. That's how that's how it works. Okay. We learn how to manage it and, and who gets access to it and who does not. All right. So as always, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. For additional insight, information, and other good stuff, you can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.